Welcome to Happy Tales, Collier County Domestic Animal Services Adoption Show. Sit back and relax, because over the next half hour, we're going to show you some adorable dogs, cats, and other cuddly creatures that would make a great addition to your family. And now, here's the host of Happy Tales, Troy Miller. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Happy Tales. I'm your host, Troy Miller. This is my great co-host, Daniel Somerville. It's been a long time, but we're back and ready to go, aren't we? Are we are better We've than ever. We've got a great group of volunteers behind us. Let's hear it for the DAS volunteers, the Yard Gang, the Inside Edition. We couldn't do this show without them. This is Lady. This is actually her better end down here. She's one of the wonderful dogs. You're going to be here in just a little bit. We want to tell you about our great specials this month, some of the great services we provide here. We'll talk to you about volunteering. We'll talk to you about fostering. We'll even give you some great dogs and cats to adopt, and we're going to get to all of that right now, so stay Two. tuned. Oh, we're going to open the show with this beautiful girl right here. Daniel, tell me all about Lady. So Lady is actually a repeat on this show, but I wanted to show her because she looks so phenomenal. When she came to us, she almost had no fur on her back, Troy. Now, yeah. how soft is this dog right she now? It's so soft. She looks beautiful. Yes, yes. Um, so her number is 187 one one zero she is actually one of our seniors she is eight years old um she was confiscated because she was in a place that just wasn't doing her any good and now she's with us and she has just been thriving with us uh, what a great demeanor on this dog i'm telling you if you're looking for and i know we always talk we always encourage seniors to adopt seniors this would be a great dog for you she's very mellow very laid back very soft going to be very appreciative and full of love no matter where she goes yep and she's been in a foster home and the foster said that she was phenomenal like potty trained didn't chew anything didn't have any separation anxiety that oh. she was just Cool as a cucumber the whole time. We're at 7610 Davis Boulevard. That's just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. We're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for adoptions. And our phone number, of course, is 239-252-PETS. That's 252-7387. One more time, Danielle, what's Lady's number? Lady's number is 187-110. Oh, we're starting our cat journey today with a lovely pair. This is Leslie and Evelyn. Leslie. Leslie. Evelyn. Evelyn. Yep. Leslie's number is 256-654, and Evelyn's number is 256-653. Let's start with Evelyn here. Evelyn is a spade female, black and white domestic short hair, five months old, mm -hmm. while Leslie is a spade female, brown tabby domestic short hair, also five months old. I'm going to guess they're sisters. They, well, they came in together. Okay, so we so know that much is true. they like each other. That's good. But I mean, I don't always like my sister, so who knows? Yeah, that's true. But let me tell you, if you want to see something super cute, come in at any point in the day and see these two cuddling together. Oh. You're kidding me. It is like just ridiculous amounts of cute. Like they are just like all over each other, hugging each other, loving each other. It's adorable. Now, do we still do buy one cat, get the second cat at no additional cost? Oh, yeah. And during the month of January, adoption prices have been slashed in half. So you can really get both of these cats for next to nothing for this month of January. Well, and let me tell you something else, Troy. The last Saturday of the month, which is going to be January 25th, mm -hmm. 10 a.m., we're having kitty yoga. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, I saw you on the news doing kitty yoga the I, other day. Well, I You're tried. You're a star. I tried to do some yoga. <laughs> I tried. You did good. You did good. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you come to our kitty yoga, bring your friends, bring your family. And if you do yoga, you fall in love with a kitty, you get your adoption fees waived. So you can take both these girls home for free. So you can go home with your yoga partner. Yeah. So, it, well, no. <laughs> So and now, is, is kitty yoga going to be something we do the last Saturday of every month? Not yet. I don't have that slated, but I am going to try and do it once a month. Well, I'll tell you what. You, this looks like they're getting to be a handful for you holding the two, two of them. So let's do this one more time. Leslie, 256-654, and Evelyn, 256-653. Come adopt the pair today. Well, someone is very excited to make their very debut excited. on Happy Tales. This is precious, and boy, is she. <laughs> She's so cute. Her number is 256384. I, I, I hope you're ready because she is a big puppy. She's yes. got tons of energy, but I, she is such a sweet. She's precious. She's, I know. She is pre she's precious. Now, and again, truth in advertising, this dog is a big puppy. She's yes. got a lot of energy. A fenced yes. in home or a fenced in yard would probably be fenced in home. Fenced in home. Uh, yeah, fenced in That'd yard would one. probably be a great thing for this dog. <laughs> and I maybe mean, not, not a lot of knickknacks sitting around either. You know what? She's, she's a, she looks kind of smaller, but she is 40. 47 pounds, so I know, she's, I know, she's strong. I, I mean, know. she has not missed many days at the gym. Like, she's she's a tough girl. She can pull you along if you really need it. Yeah, to. but this is one of those dogs you can tell she doesn't realize how big she is. She's going to no. want to sit on your lap, yeah. sit uh -huh. on the couch. Yep. Doesn't, yep. I'm a big dog? What? Yeah, no yeah. clue. 
look at her. But she's so beautiful. Hey, obviously, the point of Happy Tales is to uh, encourage cat and dog adoptions, but we also have room for volunteers here if you don't find yourself Always. in a position where you can adopt a dog or a cat. And if you can't volunteer, maybe you can foster a dog or a cat. So we have plenty of opportunities for you to make meaningful contributions to the lives of cats and dogs here in Collier County. This is going to be tough for you to get the paper again, but what is Precious's number one more Precious time? Precious is 256384. Come and get her before she pulls Troy away. <laughs> Oh, we've got a beautiful little kitten here. This is Millie. Mm -hmm. Millie's number is 256407. Millie is a spayed female, brown tabbing domestic short hair, and is 11, oh, 11 weeks old. How Are adorable we is that? Yeah, oh. oh. She's purring. Oh, this adorable little kitten is ready to make your life complete. I mean, look at this. So I actually know quite a bit about her because she was in foster. Um, she came to us and she actually had a hurt paw. She oh. had like, like one of her paws had a lot of like wounds on it. Oh. So I sent her to foster. The foster took great care of her, socialized her, and now she's like beautiful and happy and healthy and ready for her home. She and just she, got spayed and she's ready to rock and roll. And she loves loving apparently. She loves cuddling. She's, she's purr up a storm here. She's a little purr monster. She's a purr monster. I want to remind everybody, Carr County Domestic Animal Services is open for adoption Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we're located at 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. And you can call us at 252-PETS. That's 252-7387. And I want you to bear in mind, you come down, say you're looking for a dog or a cat, and you come down, you look around, and think, oh, they don't have anything in here. And just nothing speaking True, to me. True, we get new animals every day. You got to come back, folks. It's a process. You may not find that perfect match on the first visit or the second visit or the third visit, but you will find that be it a dog or a cat or a rat or a gerbil or whatever you have here you will we got find it all it. we you, had a donkey last week you, you're not he was hilarious really mm -hmm. yeah he was really funny did he bray at all your jokes yeah, yeah. no I, I got a selfie with him though <laughs> pretty great <laughs> Donkey selfie, Adelphi. <laughs> Woo! Okay, this is Millie. Stop. Millie's number is 256407. Two. Oh, now this is just a gorgeous specimen of dog right here. He is probably one of the best looking dogs I've ever seen. It looks like he has eyeliner on. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was noticing that. But he's a dude. He, you know, I don't, I don't know oh, that he would do dude. that. Yeah. He's, he's definitely a dude. He's a man's, he's a man's man. Um, this is Scott. He is 231297. Um, so he's about 65 pounds. He is a ball of fun, a ball of energy. Um, if you need a good workout, this is going to be your workout, buddy, for your New Year's resolution this year. Yeah, forget year, buying one of those fancy machines you, you don't see on need TV. It. You don't need a Peloton. You just need Scott. You just need Scott. That's all you he's, need. He's a great tennis player. He is, uh, you know, trying out for the uh, all the the different tennis competitions that we have. He's so going to be in the Australian Open later this month. He no. might be. That's qu quite a trip for him. We'll see if I can go with you. I'm going to Australia. <laughs> yeah, the no, land down under. Does that sound like fun? I love this marking down the back here. Just this little oh, he's, turns he's, right on cue. He's gorgeous. He's absolutely he's a, gorgeous. He's a gorgeous boy. He needs an active family who can understand yes. that he needs to be run and he needs That's to have right. a tennis ball That's right. Either runs or walks, or fenced in yard. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to not only dog food budget, you may have to budget for tennis balls. You know what? We've got a bunch of tennis balls. I'll send you with a bag of tennis balls if you adopt this dog. Such a bargain. Come down and adopt Scott today. One more one more time. What is Scott's number? 231297. If you've watched this show long at all, you know I have a thing for the gray cat, especially this deep charcoal. This oh, is Rowan. So pretty. Rowan's number is 256742. She's mm. a spade female, blue Russian blue mix. She's gorgeous. 15, so that explains it. It's a blue Russian blue Oh, and just as soft as I thought she would be. Oh, you I'm not allowed. I know I touch. I'll, 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 You're I'll, gonna regret that. I know. I'll, I'm allergic to cats. We go through this every time, but sometimes they're just too cute not to touch. She's really cute. Tell me about Rowan. She's cute. <laughs> All right, animal's over. Next, no, I'm kidding. Show's done. Show's done. She's <laughs> Drop cute. Drop the mic. Drop the list of pets. Well, uh, I mean, I think you see all you need to see here. She's cute. She's sweet. She's a cuddle bug. I mean, she's still a kitten, so she's going to be playful, but she's not like a crazy kitten. She's a sweet. Oh. See? Aww. She said I'm not crazy. Obviously, we encourage adoption here on Happy Tales, but just one more reminder, if you can't adopt, you can always volunteer down here at Collier County Domestic Animal Services. And if that doesn't fit into your schedule, you might be able to foster a pet for us. Foster can save lives. It does save lives. Get a pet ready for adoption. If none of those work for you, we have one more option we'd like to tell you about, and that's the Collier County Domestic Animal Services Trust Fund. Sometimes we have dogs and cats that come in with some medical conditions, require some medicine, some kind of help, maybe even a surgery in some occasions. The Collier County Domestic Animal Services Trust Fund is what we use 
use to make those things possible for those dogs and cats so that they can be, be ready for adoption and re-enter a beautiful home and find that forever home, right? 100%. Forever home. Oh, Fur. that was a, well, Rowan, 256. She's like, wrap it up, Troy. I know, 256-742. <laughs> Come get Rowan today. You tell him, Two. Stinky. You know, this is the week, apparently, for oh. gorgeous, gorgeous dogs here on Happy Tail. Oh, Danielle, this goodness. is just another gorgeous girl here. Tell me about She's Breeze. Beautiful. This is Breeze. Her number is 256 494. Uh, she is two years old. Uh, she's a spayed female, so she's ready to rock and roll out the door she today. She's gorgeous. You know what's really sad? What? She was also confiscated, like a lot oh. of other dogs that we get here, unfortunately, because she just was not living in a great environment. It wasn't yeah. good for her. She had a wound on her paw when she came into us. We've treated her, we've spayed her, and now she is ready to go to a new home that's going to take great care of her. I love her. this coloration, the dark on the back of the ears yeah. here that just plays off the dark she's, end of the snail. She beautiful. is just a gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous dog. My and she's goodness. she's sweet, too. She's still pretty new to us. We've only had her for um, maybe about a week now, a little bit over oh, a week. Wow. And well, she's very well behaved. Yeah, no, she's a good dog. She's yeah. not super strong. She doesn't, you know, well, she might be kind of strong. You said it. <laughs> she pulled me out of my chair. I know. She's like, uh, I, know, I will show you it's not okay. strong. It's okay. Um, but she's Too a well-behaved dog. She's got a nice disposition. Um, she's showing you her good side there. Hi, I baby. know, baby girl. Oh, I know. Hi. I know. I know. And actually, Troy, I don't know if you know this, but this month we are actually cutting all of our adoption fees in half. So half for price the adoptions for the month of January. Entire month of January, entire all month. dogs and cats. Well, all dogs and cats. Half price adoptions. Half you can't beat adoptions. that deal. Plus, when you adopt your car, you can DS, your dog comes vaccinated, up to date on all of its shots. Mm -hmm. It's going to be microchipped. It's going to have a license. It's going to, do you still do the pet insurance for a month? Yep. It's going to have a month of pension. You can't beat this deal anywhere. So nope. consider this your first stop, probably your only stop, when you're looking to adopt a dog or cat. <laughs> One more time, tell me, uh-oh, tell me Breeze's number she poses for us here. Breeze's number is 256-494. Oh, this is a shady lady right here. No, this <laughs> is... Good. It, well, yeah, yeah, this that's is clever. Shady. Shady's number, not Slim Shady. This is Shady, 256-492. She's a spade female, black and white domestic short hair and is seven months old. What a good looking cat. She's, I, she's gorgeous. She's got that little tuxedo action going. I know. She's a sweetheart. She's playful. She's, she's got white spade. boots on in the back. I love that. She's got all white boots. I know, but little ones up here, but the back Mittens. we've got like, you know, we got hip boots. waders on in the back. <laughs> Mittens and boots. Nice. <laughs> she's wonderful. She'd make a great family pet. Um, she needs to get a forever home. So come down and get her. We are, um, all of our adoption fees are going to be half price for the month of January. Wow. And if you come to Kitty Yoga on January 25th, your adoption fees will be waived. There so. you go. So come down and get Shady Lady, 256-492. Mm. Oh, this is Mandy. She came and she gave without taking. Oh, wait, that's a Barry Manilow song. I'm sorry. This, tell me about Mandy. <laughs> you make it too easy sometimes. I know. I'm, that's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, Mandy's number is 254-995. And now, Troy, do you, do you remember this dog from the first time that we put her on this yes, show? Yes, I wasn't allowed to hold her because she was male aversive, I yep. guess would be the uh, you know, way to say it. Yep. But, and who's in this room right now other than myself? Uh, me and Bill and Michelle, three guys. Yep, three yeah. guys. Yeah. Now, do you know how she got to this point to like love men? I'm guessing through some hard uh, effort and a lot of work by one of your volunteers. Yep, it happens to be that man right there in the corner. Michelle! Uh, that's one of our volunteers, and that's just the beauty of how much these animals can turn around once they're shown a little love, a little attention, they learn how to trust, and that yeah. is, that's our volunteers. That is our volunteers who turn these animals around um, and, and turn them into good family animals. <laughs> well, we talk about a lot, the socialization of these dogs when they yeah. come here. I mean, it's one thing to have them leave pretty much potty trained, which most of our dogs do because of our great volunteers. Yep, we don't exactly. guarantee that. But the socialization the dogs get, the play groups, the meeting with different people. what The work that Michelle has done here to take this dog that was so complete. Oh, no, and you would kiss me if I would let you. Take this dog that was so adverse to any kind of male. And now look at her. She is just laying on me here. It's, this is fantastic it's, work. It's really, it's really inspiring. And you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't have pets at my condo or my house or my apartment. And you know, you don't have to adopt from us. You can help by being a volunteer, coming out and helping these animals to, to get to the point, again, where she can be with any family now. What's the best way to get information about volunteering? Is it a call? Is it an email? Is nope. It, it, you don't even have to contact me. All you have to do is go online. You go to our webpage. You go to the little link. It says volunteer. It's going to list some orientation dates. And you can just show up. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Bring your whole darn neighborhood. 
I don't care. I'll take as many new volunteers as I can get. Um, and then we just kind of go from there for training. So it's super easy. Um, no commitment until you've been through the whole orientation and you know this is the place for you. Very rewarding work, too. <laughs> one more time. I know. I know. <laughs> tell me, uh -oh, tell me Man Watch Mandy's out. number one more time. <laughs> Mandy is 254-995. This is Spice. Spice's number is 256355. Spice is a female. Can we just look at that face? Aww. She's looking at her own picture. She's like, See, I don't like my picture. I can take a better picture. <laughs> She's a spade female tricolor domestic short hair and is about five months old. What a gorgeous little cat. She's gorgeous. She's feisty. She's fun. She's sweet. She's Spice. Yes, she's spice. She's got all that, and not to be confused with one of the Spice Girls. She's not. She's posh spice, not scary spice. Ooh, or... she's definitely posh spice. See, I, I, I like that. In fact, maybe we're going to add that. to We're going to add that. Yep. Posh spice. So she's married to a famous soccer cat. Ooh. Oh, ooh. That's the life. Yeah. Yay. Right. Yeah. That cat's all tatted up. Okay. Let's get back to the show. Spice okay. two five six three five five. <laughs> Come get spice today. And this beautiful portrait in black and white is Malia. Tell me all about Malia. Malia, Malia, Malia sorry. tomato, tomato. Doesn't Let's make call difference. the whole dog off. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Um, her number is 254882. This is also not her first time on this show, um, but she has come actually kind of a long way since she's been with us. I mean, you can look at her and you kind of get a portrait painted of maybe what her past was before she came. Yeah. Um, Yesterday I took her to an event and she was just perfection I, with every I, single person that she met. She's been in playgroup now with other dogs and done wow. great. She's she's she is perfection, but she's strong. Yeah, I mean, again, she's eighty pounds. I was just going to mention she's another a small strong pony. dog. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, so but she'd be a great family dog. You just need to understand that she's you know she's a big girl and yeah. she's going to take you for a walk. That's that's right. She's going to take you for a walk mm -hmm. again. Uh, someone that's prepared to take this dog on a couple of long walks, a fenced-in oh, backyard. Look at those muscles. Try, I know, not to have the dog <laughs> left in, but to let the dog play in while you're home. We'll make that clear. Yep. Because this baby deserves to live in but the posh indoors. But she's well behaved. I oh, mean, I know, I she's, know. She's a good girl, so it's like like she can't be trained to, to not be super strong. And, she's just. And why do I have a feeling she's going to end up being a lap dog someday too, even I at this way? I think she might just already be a lap yeah, dog. Yeah. Hi, so big ear. Make sure your furniture is yeah, really yeah. strong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Malia, one more time, what's Malia's number? 254-882. Oh, this gorgeous girl here is Nala. Love the name Nala. 252-121. Nala is a spade female, gray and tan, domestic short hair, and is nine months old. And of course, having all this gray makes her one of the cats I like. She kind of looks like my cat, because I used to think she it was like kind of pink colored when yeah. I first got her when she was a kitten. Obviously, she's not pink, but she kind of looks like her. She's, she's gorgeous. She's a sweetheart. She's playful. She's going to take it from here. Boy, the way the tan weaves into the gray is yeah, nice. I, I didn't even notice the tan at first, but it's been fantastic. It yeah, really adds to the, her coat and her color, and mm -hmm. I, she even has it up here on her face. I think she's ready for the spotlight. All right. You know, if only she could read, right? We can have her read her own information here. We're going to lose our jobs. I know. Gorgeous-looking cat right here. This is Nala. Spade, female, gray, tan, domestic, short hair, nine months old, and her number is 252121. Oh, this excited, beautiful boy uh, here is Gunner. I know, Gunner. I put a treat down here for you. He's like, it's my first time on TV. I I'm really excited. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, he's so cute. This is Gunner. Um, his number is 256266. Um, he's about a year and a half old now. He came into us as a stray. He's 73 pounds. He is a big old puppy dog. Yes. He loves to play, yes. loves to run. Um, he's, you know, he's a good boy who just wants to be your companion. And again, another big dog. So we want to remind you that big dogs require a little extra care, a little more space, a little more time, and a little more effort. But you know what they say about big dogs? They give the biggest hugs. That's true. They do give the biggest hugs. And you know, if you want, if you, you know, well, I can't remember that thing about the big dog staying on the porch. Whatever that was. Anyhow, if you can't run with the big dog, stay on the porch. That's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but I want to remind everybody something I haven't done in a while. We're at 7610 Davis Boulevard. That's just east of the Boys and Girls Club just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. And we're open for adoptions Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So come down here Look and make that face. forever match today. What a good looking Look dog face. this is. I know. And he's posing now, too. He uh -oh. is. He's looking at our volunteer, and he's oh. like putting on a show. Oh, now, work oh, it. Now we're going to work it. Work, work that it. camera. Oh, oh good oh, boy. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, that's a nice boy. See, he's trainable. Yes. He's, he's a good dog. Absolutely trainable. But one more time. Give me <laughs> Gunner's before Gunner pulls Gunner's me off. Gunner's number is two five six two six six. Oh, this is one of Danielle's favorites. This is Sammy. Sammy's a spade, female, brown, domestic, medium hair. Is one year nine months old, and her number is two three three eight seven two. She's a wiggler. She's a wobbler. She's a wobbler. She's a neuro kitty. <laughs> 
I'm not sure what that means. She's She came to us and she just had kind of like the shake. She oh. had a little head wobble. Um, so we put her on some medications and we sent her to foster care um, and nothing has gotten any worse. It hasn't gotten any better. So we think she's just going to have a little wobble. Um, so oh. she's a neuro kitty, but she'll live a long, healthy life. Um, she's just a little klutzy. Well, I'm a little klutzy too, and my wife keeps me around. That's why so. I like her so much. We're two peas in the pod. That's, that's right. Um, yeah. But her foster um, absolutely adores her. She actually has come back almost every single day since she's brought her back from foster to visit with her. Oh. Sammy will sit in your lap and snuggle with you, and that is all she wants. She wants to snuggle. So if you want a lap cat, yeah, I was gonna say, Sammy is your girl. Lap tap, lap cat mission acquired right here. Yep. Sammy, two three three eight seven two. Well, this is Saul, controversially, although we're changing her name to Sally, I do believe, right here on the spot. But <laughs> I, I guess so. I guess, even though she's known her surrender and had Saul for a while, we're going to go with Sally. But Aww. she is a, tell me about this beautiful dog. Um, she is two years old. Her number is 256-738. Um, she is spayed. Uh, she was owner surrendered because the owners just didn't have enough time for her. I mean, she's, she's still a young girl. She's a big dog. And like I say, I would rather people bring their animals to us where we know that we can find them a good home rather than trying to rehome them themselves or turning on them Craigslist. Loose. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of bad options. I'd rather them bring them to us where I know we're going to get her. Now, how long, home. Has, how long has she been here? She just came, what's today? Friday. Friday. She came uh, Wednesday. Yeah, see, and you can tell she doesn't belong here. Look yeah. at this. See, this just breaks my heart. This just makes me want to hug this dog She's and hold this dog girl. and just spin right next to this dog the whole rest of the day. We've had a lot of blondes on the show today. Yes, and I know it's going to cause a problem because my wife's a brunette, so she's going to yeah. find all this blonde well, hair. Well, the blondes on. are having more fun right now. I they guess. are having more fun. And they fun. need to get home so they can have even more fun. Now, I, and again, mm. look at this beautiful. I mean, this, this dog oh. needs to be in a home. Folks, let's don't leave Saul here very long, okay? Let's get this dog adopted. Not that you're <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we got the tail Oh wag. my tail goodness, now look what you're doing to oh, me. No. If, oh no. She heard you say something about taking a dog home. Yes, so yes, so she assumed that's, yeah. I would love to take you home, baby, but I can't have you. You're a good girl. You are a good girl. Baby. Well, one more time, give me Saul or Sally's number. Saul, Sally, whatever you want to call her. Her, her number is 256-738. This little Gorgeous little kitten here is Minnie. Minnie's number is 256238. She's a spayed female, black domestic short hair, and is 13 weeks old. She's a sweetheart. She was in foster. She's a little on the shyer side. She's not as outgoing as a lot of the other kittens that we have here. But that's because she came in by herself. She's always been by herself. Um, so she's just a little more shy, but she's a sweetie. She she actually was on the news with me the other day when we did the news. Oh, when you did the cat yoga. She was in my lap. She kind of hid, but she was there. Um, so she's, she's a good kitty. She'll be great in a home. Oh, look how cute she is. Hi, guys. Is. My mini. Remember, we're smitten with kittens. We love them, but we also love to find homes for them. And for the entire month of January, all of our adoption prices have been cut in half. And when you buy one cat, you can get a second cat at no additional cost. Well, and don't forget about Kitty Yoga, Troy. Kitty Yoga, the last Saturday of this month, which is... January 25th. If you come in and do Kitty Yoga, you get to take your yoga partner home with you at no adoption fee charge whatsoever. None. So make sure you come down here. We're the best deal going. You get your cat up to date on shots. You get microchip. You get license. You get a month of pet insurance. You're not going to beat this deal anywhere. One more time. Mini 256-238. Hey, this is a new addition here at DAS. This is Baxter. Baxter's not been here very long. And while, while Danielle tells us all about Baxter, I want to introduce, this is Jane, one of our fantastic volunteers who works with some of our dogs who have some you know behavior issues, let's say. So Baxter's number is 255-719. He's about two years old. He came into us as a stray. Um, what we have learned about him is that he's very, very um, territorial of his food. Um, so we would not recommend him being in a home with small kids because, you know, kids, we you know, sometimes go towards the food bowls, not yep. knowing what they're doing, and yep. he would not be a huge fan of that. And we've been working with him. Um, we actually have had him for a couple of months now, but he's new to the adoption floor because we have been working with him. We've been taking him to professional trainers. Um, we have a few of our more experienced volunteers working with him. Um, when he first came to us, we couldn't even give him a treat without him yeah. quite literally trying to take our hands off. And you can yeah. see he's taking food out of Jane's hands right now. He's a puppy. He gets excited, and his go-to is to just mouth. Yeah. So we've been working with him. You can see we've got actually a different uh, lead here than we normally do with our other dogs, and that's so if he does go to bite his leash, it's not going to be a nice, cozy little cloth. It's yeah. going to be a chain, and that helps for him to learn that 
it's not reinforcing to actually bite the leash. Now, see, I wouldn't have never guessed that. That makes perfect sense, though, now that you say that. Mm -hmm. And you get that level of expertise here at DAS with our volunteers and Danielle and everything, the knowledge she imparts to them. And like I said, Jane is one of our experts here. And Jane does a fantastic job of getting these dogs socialized and ready for adoption. And like, look at this. This yeah. dog is putting in her hand. He's a good dog. I think he has got the potential to be an outstanding dog. He just needs to have someone who understands what his issues are and to just be patient to work with him. Um, he has come a long way. Um, he's still got some ways to go, but I think he would do better, you know, being in a home where he's a little less <laughs> stimulated by yes, everything that's yes, going around at all times. Exactly. Hi, exactly. buddy. You well, one more boy. time. What's Baxter's Hi. number? Baxter's number is 255-719. Come get this good boy. Hey. This is Cruz. Cruz's number is 253983. She's a spayed female, black domestic short hair, and is eight months old. Oh boy, that is a dark She's black. She's black, but oh, don't forget so about that cute little white chest that she has that, that is, peeks out. Oh, 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 oh what there she is. Do we, do we know what kind of she It looks almost like a diamond on here. Yeah, like, almost like a shell. Oh, you're right. It is. It is a seashell. Her name should be Shelly. Nice. <laughs> but, all right, now I'm getting completely off track here, and I'm going to lose <laughs> thought of what I was getting ready to say. We want to remind everybody that we're located at 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard, and our phone number is 252-PETS. That's 252-7387. Come down and take a look at Cruz. Cruz's number is 253-983, and she's ready to go home with you today. This is Earl. Earl's number is 256486. Earl is a neutered male, gray and white domestic short hair and is eight years old. Earl weighs 17 pounds. Yes, he does. He's a big cat. He's, he's not missed many meals. He is not pushed away from the table at all. Nope. Now listen, I mean, he's eight years old. He's a happy cat. He's but, also front to Claude. Oh, that's also a nice feature that people would like. But I mean, here we go. He's happy. He's eight years old. But if you, when you adopt Earl, please try to restrain on his diet a little bit here. He could stand to use a, lose a little bit of weight. It would make him healthier and happier. Real quick, Earl, 256 486. Come get Earl before he gets away. <laughs> oh, this is Joshua. Joshua's number is 256683. He's a neutered male, brown, tabby, and white domestic short hair, and is one year old. We've got a lot of kittens and young cats today. We've had a couple older ones, but one year old, that's a great age. I'll tell you what, what's been really fabulous is um, we kind of think usually after Christmas, we're not going to have a lot of adoptions. We're going to see a lot of people bringing cats in. We've seen the opposite, Troy. Wow. We've had a lot of really great cat adoptions. We're not in kitten season right now. Certainly not to say we don't have kittens, but we've been a little more cat heavy and people have been adopting and giving them great homes. We love that. Yes. I mean, after all, the purpose of Dakar County, we'd love to put ourselves out of business here. We'd love it that there were no cats and dogs that needed homes and needed to be adopted. Yep. We'd be fine with that, but yep. that's not going to happen without at not least... Not until people stop, you know, start spaying and neutering all their animals. That's true. We won't, we won't, we'll get on that soapbox another time, but obviously responsible pet ownership is the key and that's what we encourage here. So we want you to adopt. We want you to find that perfect cat or dog for your home and then we want you to be that responsible owner. That's why all dogs and cats that leave Carter County Domestic Animal Services are either spayed or neutered. Correct. One more time, Joshua, 256-683. This is Robert. Robert's number is 256-142. Robert's a neutered male, white and brown domestic short hair. is four years old and wrote a famous book about running government meetings. Oh, that's Robert's Rules of Order. I'm sorry. That went right over everybody's. I sat through all the meetings. That was for me to enjoy and laugh at, okay? All right. Did you enjoy it? No, really. Yeah, see, yeah, I didn't. And I did. It just fell flat on the floor. And now I'm going to ruin Robert's chances. Get, talk no, 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 you're making Robert look good. That's true because I'm looking so bad. Tell me some good stuff about Robert. He's big and fluffy and very soft. Don't touch him. Don't do it. I won't because I'm already sneezing. He's a full-grown cat. He's four years old, so he's still got a lot of good life in him. Um, he's a sweetheart. He's um, been around other cats. He came in with four other cats. I um, love this color pattern. No, this works for me. He's fabulous. I know. He's wonderful. He needs a good home. He'd be a great family pet. He's cool. He's calm. He's good. He's the cat for you. He's the cat. Come get Robert, 256-142. Another great episode of Happy Tales, some wonderful cats and dogs. I'm Troy. This is Danielle. Until next time, Happy, Happy Tales! Tales! I was afraid of that. Well, guess it's time to get you fixed.
Your pets will start fooling around sooner than you think. Go on, get out of here! Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. This is your new kitten, or your new puppy. Every day, 70,000 puppies and kittens just like them are born in the U.S. Cute, right? Well, what's not cute is that half of all litters are accidents. And when a kitten has a litter of oopsies and a puppy has a litter of uh-ohs, pretty soon you have thousands and thousands of OMGs. And that leads to millions of pets being killed in shelters each year. But if 80% of pet owners say they believe in spaying and neutering, then what gives? Well, it turns out those sweet little fuzzballs can get pregnant sooner than you think. A lot sooner. But here's the good news. You can stop the accident before it happens. You just have to remember one number. Four, as in four months. When you bring home Maggie or Ruby or Puddle or Clyde, get them fixed at four months. It can be old enough to get pregnant, and it's definitely young enough to make a difference. Prevent more, fix at month four. You're watching Collier Television, bringing government home.